Long before Amazon, FedEx, and UPS holiday deliveries, many have memories of how Cleveland used to shop for the holidays. Leon Bibb takes a stroll down Euclid Avenue for a look back at the festive lights of a time not so long ago. My family was not portrayed in paintings of Christmas shoppers like this one, but during my childhood, this could have been my gift-giving family. My boyhood Christmas shopping days meant downtown Cleveland, where the big department stores were located. So I look back, remembering my family's long ago holiday shopping. If you're old enough, maybe you remember. We'd come down and go to Higby's and Halley's. Rick Grosspitch remembers too. As general manager of Cleveland's Public Square events, he recalls the square, which was key destination for his Christmas shopping family. Today, he and I relish today's square as the city glistens in its holiday coat, as December's collar pulses with light. What has remained constant are festive lights adorning Public Square. Once downtown beckoned Christmas shoppers, who now mostly sleigh bell it to suburban malls. But downtown gives a nod to the big holiday windows of a former department store. Archival pictures transport us to a bygone time when greater Clevelanders were elbow to elbow in the streets and stores anchoring Public Square. The Christmas shopping days of my childhood were mostly in Cleveland's Public Square. Holding on to mother and dad's hand, we would scurry among the department stores, the big ones, because the big department stores were in downtown Cleveland in those days. Ah, the memories. We always made a trip to the Twigby shop so we could get something for mom and dad for ourselves. That was in the Higby. In that the Higby was in the Higby building. building. The Jack Casino in the old Higby's store building dresses its windows, reminiscent of years back when downtown department stores bulged with business. May companies is being converted. Higby's has become a casino. You know, Taylor's is no longer there. Halley's is something other than what it was. Historian John Grabowski was a Cleveland kid of the 1950s and 60s who holiday shopped and holiday hopped with his parents. He said where a shopper did business often depended on an amount of jingle. Not so much the jingle of Christmas bells, more the jingle of coins in a shopper's pocket. If you had the money or the pretension of having money, you would go to Halley's or Sterling Linder's and shop there. Then there's the May Company, which was kind of the in-between for everybody. Unashamedly, I am nostalgic. Christmas time drives my nostalgia. Holiday lights and festivities spur my spirit. In all of these lights, there is a Christmas thread of memory. Cleveland's lights warm me, pulsing into my present and glittering my memories of long ago. Welling in me are thoughts of Christmas past and Christmas present, both neatly packaged in Cleveland tinsel and light, illuminating the ribbon of my memory. Merry Christmas, everyone. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.